Michael Jordan was ratings gold for TV networks during his days dominating on the hardwood. He appeared in the four highest rated NBA finals of all time, with viewership peaking at 29 million per game in 1998. When he left the Chicago Bulls for good in his second retirement, finals viewership plunged 45%. In the two decades that followed, the NBA hasn't even come close, with the highest rated finals, the Golden State Warriors versus the Cleveland Cavaliers, pulling 20 million viewers in both 2016 and 2017. While most billionaires lost money over the past 12 months, Jordan's net worth rose 300 million thanks to a higher value for the Charlotte Hornets, the NBA franchise he owns roughly 70% of, and $145 million in earnings, largely from Nike. His Hornets stake is worth 940 million net of debt. Jordan ranked number 1,001 last month in Forbes' annual tally of the world's billionaires, with an estimated $2.1 billion fortune. Jordan joined the Three Comma Club in 2014. Here is how Jordan makes and spends his money. Nike Nike has always been Jordan's biggest backer. His initial five-year Nike deal signed in 1984 was worth $500,000 annually, about $1.2 million in today's dollars, plus royalties. His take last year, included in the tally above, was $130 million by Forbes' count, four times as much as that of LeBron James, who has the NBA's second biggest shoe deal. Nike built the Jordan brand into a massive standalone business with $3.1 billion in wholesale revenue in the fiscal year ending May 2019, up 10% from the prior year. Even with the coronavirus impact, sales in the current fiscal year will likely be greater, according to recent reports from Nike. The company said the brand had its first billion-dollar quarter in late 2019 and highlighted Jordan as a driver of growth in the latest quarterly results. Nike released the Air Jordan 34 basketball shoe in September. Nike's share of the U.S. basketball performance shoe market, which includes the Jordan brand, was 86% in 2019, according to market research firm NPD, and has a 96% share of the broader lifestyle basketball category. Hornets Jordan expected to return to his role as an executive and owner of the Washington Wizards basketball team when he retired for good in 2003, but was forced out by then-Wizards owner Abe Pollin. Three years later, he was back, buying a minority stake in the Charlotte Bobcats, whom have since been renamed the Hornets. He took majority control of the team in 2010 in a deal valued at $175 million that was largely funded with debt. He eventually raised his stake to 90%. His investment was just in time for an explosion in team values triggered by three major events, a new collective bargaining agreement that cut players' share of revenue to 50% in 2011 from 57%, the Ballmer bump, which came after former Microsoft CEO Steve Ballmer paid $2 billion in 2014 for the Los Angeles Clippers, and a new NBA TV deal with ESPN and TNT that tripled the value of the previous pact. Jordan cashed in some of his Hornets equity in September when he agreed to sell roughly 20% in the team at a $1.5 billion valuation to New York-based hedge fund managers Gabe Plotkin and Daniel Sunheim. Chicago Bulls Not only does MJ have the Midas touch when it comes to his own bank account, but his magic has also helped others build their own billion-dollar fortunes. In 1985, the year after Jordan was drafted, Jerry Reinsdorf led an investment group that paid $16 million for the Bulls. Four NBA teams were sold that year, including in Milwaukee, Denver, and Utah, with the Bulls being the cheapest of the bunch. By the time Jordan retired for the second time after the 1997-98 season, the Bulls were the NBA's most valuable team, and while the team has reached the Eastern Conference Finals only one time since, its value has continued to rise, even though in Jordan's absence the Bulls have been surpassed in value by the New York Knicks, the Los Angeles Lakers, and the Golden State Warriors. The Bulls ranked fourth in the NBA at $3.2 billion in Forbes' annual franchise valuations in February, producing an annualized return for Reinsdorf of 17% versus 6.7% for the S&P 500 before dividends. And now, here is how he spends these billions. $61.5 million private jet. Michael Jordan built one of the world's most recognizable brands based on an image of him flying through the air dunking a basketball. So it's only fitting that when it comes to flying in the sky, he does it in style too. Jordan owns a Gulfstream G550 jet. Originally, he decked his private plane out in the signature powder blue and white colors from his alma mater, the University of North Carolina. However, in 2017, 
he gave it a facelift in fitting MJ fashion. Jordan's jet now sports an elephant print design, which is a shout out to his famous Jordan brand shoes. The Gulfstream G550 jet cost $61.5 million. Of course, with Jordan's custom design, you can be sure that the price tag probably went up a bit. Number one, real estate. Like so many others with a sky-high net worth, Michael Jordan owns a fair amount of property. His primary residence is an opulent 26,000 square foot mansion in Jupiter, Florida. Located within the exclusive Bears Club community, i.e. a golf lover's paradise, established by Jack Nicklaus and his wife, the mansion hosts 11 bedrooms and sits on three acres of land. Jordan purchased it for 4.8 million US dollars in 2011 and spent over 7.5 million on additional construction and renovation. Then, we have the mansion he still owns in Chicago's Highland Park, which he famously built from scratch and decked out with all sorts of goodies. It's been sitting on the market for six years and is currently for sale at a drastically reduced price of $14.8 million. Hmm, maybe he should have cut back on all those personal touches. Number two, transportation. As you can probably guess, Jordan spares no expense when it comes to getting from point A to point B. First up is his private jet, a Gulfstream G550. He's also known to charter a 230-foot yacht called Mr. Terrible, which hosts eight cabins and a full-size basketball court, among other things. That's not to mention the 80-foot Viking Yacht Company fishing boat he keeps in his marina. Throughout his life, Jordan has purchased no shortage of exceptional cars, some standouts include an Aston Martin DB9 Volante, Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren 722 Edition, Porsche 911, Range Rover, Ferrari 599 GTB Fiorano, and many others. As amazing as those cars may be, we do wonder if he had a hard time fitting inside that Porsche 911. Number 3. Philanthropy With big money comes big responsibility, and Jordan has stepped up his philanthropic efforts in recent years. Recipients have included various charities across Chicago, Hurricane Florence Relief Efforts, the NAACP Legal Defense Fund, the Institute for Community Police Relations, American Red Cross, Make-A-Wish, Friends of the Children, and more. In 2017, he put up $7 million of his own money to fund two Navant Health Michael Jordan family clinics in Charlotte. The first one opened in October 2019 and is now up and running. Number 4. Golf when you take one look at Michael Jordan's net worth, you'd think there's no way that his love of golf could possibly put a dent in his earnings. However, you'd be wrong. A truly avid golfer, he often takes his love of the sport to lavish extremes. Reportedly tired of waiting his turn, Jordan built his own private golf course, aka Grove 23, in Hope Sound, Florida. It's also safe to assume that he's played at all the major courses around the world and probably purchased every conceivable golf-related product known to man. Speaking of which, he owns a custom golf cart with the Jumpman logo on the front. That's all for today's video. If you enjoyed watching this video, then don't forget to leave this video a like. And for more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon.